Hey everybody, welcome back to Live to Fish. Just want to give you a really quick little tip here. Um, and I'm not going to give you the tip, but uh, we had a chance on our Real Stories episode number two to fish with uh, Captain Blake Smith, who's a Spiralite uh, FLW Tour Pro. And he wanted to talk to us a little bit. He uses Lowrance. And it, as many of you might know, we are a Lowrance warranty center. So uh, Blake was kind enough to sit down and show us a really cool way so that you can be better at mapping and using your maps to the fullest advantage so you can catch more fish. So check this out. I think you're going to love it. I learned a lot. Hey everybody, welcome back to Live to Fish. And uh, I wanted to talk with Captain Blake here about, so here's the thing, we're on the Harris Chain, you fished the Harris Chain a bazillion times. Mm -hmm. Let's say this is your first time here. You've right. never fished this lake before. How can you use that to help you catch fish? You know, the biggest thing is people ask us no matter where we go, you know, professionally, we only get three days to look at a lake. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's here, I leave this week for St. Clair. It's a big bowl, it all looks the same, never been there before. Um, you know, so what I try and do is I look for uh, the regular normals. You know, when I say the regular normals, the, the creeks, the runoffs, the, the rivers, where rivers come in or rivers go out. Um, and, and obviously knowing your north and south and knowing which way rivers flow, and it, that, that's huge too. But what I do is I take a map, first of all, and I kind of open it up. Now you can see there's a lot of different waypoints. Y'all are more than welcome to go hit all those waypoints if you want. Those are from this tournament uh, the season here in 2018. But um, what I like to do is kind of find those key areas, you know, find those points. We know that, uh, you know, during this particular time of the year, we knew that they were pre-spawning. So we had fish pre-spawning, spawning, and post-spawning. Um, so obviously your main lake points. And, and the cool thing is, is before I go on the water any day, I can take that point, I'll push my waypoint. And what I like to do is do something, um, you know, like a, a caution sign or a star. So let's mark this one with a caution sign. And what a caution sign means to me when I'm pre-fishing is, hey, go check that spot. Now, you'll see some of these have actually changed from caution signs into stop signs. All right, a stop sign for me might mean, hey, I need to stop there and check. You know, these are all marking offshore grass, but if you see, you know, I've got stop signs here going into a canal. I've got stop signs going in and out of canals. I've got stop signs on grass beds. You know, these are all areas that were originally um, caution signs for me to check. You know, and other stuff, like if somebody gave me a waypoint, you know, during the, the uh, when we were allowed to take information, I might mark it as just a dot, mm -hmm. something I don't feel 100% sure on. You know, my brother might have said, hey, you know, I caught a fish here in 19, 1982 or something yeah. like that. Well, that's great. I don't have a lot of confidence right. in it. So I might mark it with a dot. Or, yeah. you know, if I'm just riding in my boat, I might say, you know, that looks like a good area. Let me mark that with a dot. Right. Um, it just kind of helps me break down a lake. Now, here's what's cool about this. Now, what maps are you using in here? You know, I actually have the Navionics uh, Hotspot South map. Okay. Um, it's a really, really awesome map, and I'll show you as I zoom in on this what it shows. Just look at the contours. Exactly. The drop-offs, the, uh, the main lake points, the, the secondary points, the points out in the main, you know, in the lake. It yeah. shows... Um, you're my vegetation areas, you know, those those uh, high probability areas that I can actually look at a map like this and say, hey, I know that they could be on that drop off. It's summertime yeah. right now. You know, I'm obviously looking on some of these drop offs for, for structure and, and mm -hmm. different types of shell beds and things like that. So, you know, getting a good map like the Navionics Plus chip or the Navionics Hotspots map chip mm -hmm. um, is, is a necessity. Oh, I mean, yeah. I love it. Now, the, the maps that come with Lowrance, they're amazing. Yeah. I mean, absolutely amazing. Lowrance has put. Uh, a lot of effort into it and with the new C map Genesis coming out it's going to destroy a lot of the different yeah. maps out there and uh, you know it's that's one cool thing about Lowrance is the innovation is key I mean they just yeah. keep going and keep going and keep going you know they put more money every year into the developing of new um, scan down scan mm -hmm. and 3d structure scan yeah. and all those different scans so we can have the best of the best of the best and you can ask anybody in the industry that runs Lowrance and they're going to tell you well, and, the best. and one of the other things too that's great about the mapping system that I like is it's not just for planning your day. Let's mm -hmm. say you get out of the water and your plans are, they failed. Right. And you're like, man, I'm not catching fish. What do I do? Well, you can go to your maps and look and go, well, what's that over there? Or what's this over there? There's a hump there. I didn't know mm -hmm. that hump was there. And so I think it's, I think it's just, they're invaluable. What, like you say, whether it's Navionics or, or the, the Lowrance Sea Maps, you can get with these. Just absolutely. Absolutely just unbelievable. You know, I definitely recommend checking it out. These are the new Lowrance carbon units. Right. You know, they, um, these are the 12 inch, which are awesome, but they have a 16 inch too, which is I know. huge and awesome yeah. and, and amazing and beautiful. Um, but I mean, get whatever's in your budget. Exactly. You know, there's still a lot of the HDS threes that are still out mm -hmm. there. 
Um, I have a 3D structure scan unit on here where I actually can take a 3D picture and look at a log or a, an yeah. underwater dock or structure. Uh, Lewis Smith Lake, I mean, I finished in there in the top 20. Um, was awesome because it was, I was able to take different areas and actually look at them from different angles yeah. and um, being able to, to break them down a little bit better. So check them out. Yeah. Uh, Lowrance, you know, carbon units, mm -hmm. 12 inch, nine inch, and even the 16. Yeah, come by 9942 State Road 52 in Hudson or live to fish.com. We'll ship one right to your front door. Yeah.